Gradually, over the years, Eric's work has gained a growing recognition and acceptance with scientific and theological bodies. Many luminaries have referred to the significance of Eric's work. Joseph Blumrich, in the preface to his 1974 book, The Spaceships of Ezekiel, wrote, The emergence of this book is a consequence of reading Eric von Daniken's Chariots of the Gods. The eminent British astrophysicist Sir Fred Hoyle, together with Professor Chandra Vikramasinghe, a pioneering astrobiologist, suggested that, in reality, mutations came from intelligent life forms in space. Eric von Daniken proposed the same ideas in his 1977 publication, According to the Evidence. For this special occasion, Professor Vikramasinghe now a visiting by fellow scholar at Churchill College, Cambridge, has this to say. 50 years ago, when I read Chariots of the Gods, I was amazed at the content of it. Uh, I don't really think that at the time I believed everything that was written on it, but it was exciting, it was challenging, and I found it uh, really very stimulating. Now, 50 years ago, the scientific community was loggerheads with Eric and with anybody who would uh, dare to champion an idea like that, uh, like the Chariots of the Gods, where extraterrestrial life has uh, interacted in some profound way with her planet. Uh, so I think the, 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 the evidence, the scientific evidence is moving in the direction of accepting a lot of what Eric has said in his book. Uh, and, and I think it's, it's amazing that 50 years on, this is science, what was thought to be heresy or even science fiction by many people, are turning, is turning out to be science fact. Throughout Eric von Daniken's illustrious career, he has been honored numerous times for his continued research in discovering and popularizing the cultural heritage of mankind and for his lifetime mission towards unraveling the unsolved mysteries of the past. His invaluable body of work has influenced many of today's leading ambassadors of truth and he continues to signpost the way for new generations of dedicated and curious researchers. I remember reading that book when I was 17 or 18 years old. It mesmerized me about possibilities of life out there. And when Eric did his research about those Nazca lines in Peru that you could only decipher and see from above, I looked at those pictures and I was just amazed. I was riveted by it. And it was one of the main reasons, that book, Chariots of the Gods, that pushed me into the field of broadcasting. That book changed many people's lives, and it changed mine, too. I was just in high school when I read Chariots of the Gods, and then I re read Return to the Stars, and then I spent all my hard-earned money at the grocery store buying Gold of the Gods, and I read all your books, and I was inspired by your books and you to travel all over the world and see all these places myself. Eric, this is Don Schmidt of Roswell, New Mexico fame. I want to wish you all the best on this special occasion. You're certainly one of my inspirations, and even as a young teenage boy, the very thought that not only were we visited in 1947 with the crash of Roswell, but that it's been going on for many centuries before. I'm here to tell you that I don't think I would have done anything that I've done. I don't think I would have written Fingerprints of the Gods. If it hadn't been for the encouragement to ask questions about the past that your book gave me at a very important stage of my life, and that's what I truly value about you, Eric. I, I don't agree with you on everything you say, but I think you've had a profound impact by leading an entire generation to ask questions. I was just out of college. There was something that said to me that I was holding the truth it was a truth that the rest of the planet did not know, and I had no idea how much the rest of my professional life would resonate with the whole concept that an alien presence has been on this earth for a very long time, and Eric had 
the guts to put it into print first, and it has become one of the greatest books on earth. Chinese of the Gods to me was the, uh, the catalyst that got me to ask the big questions and finally led me to uh, develop my own uh, research into the uh, pyramids of Egypt and the Iran correlations. Much, much to your credit, you know, you've inspired uh, many researchers to follow in your uh, footsteps, finding things that uh, the uh, mainstream archaeologists uh, just overlooked, I suppose. Thank you. Very impressive. For, for everything you've achieved and yet to accomplish, your close friend and fellow researcher, best known for his appearance on the highly successful TV series Ancient Aliens, is here tonight to present you our very own Stellar Citizen Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the one and only Mr. Giorgio Sukalos. Eric, what a great honor and privilege it is for me to stand here and to hand you this award, the Stellar Citizen Award, because as you've seen, you have changed people's lives, including mine. When I was a little boy, I was reading your books. My grandmother would sometimes read passages out of your work. And I was five, six, seven years old. I didn't know what was going on but she planted the seed. And uh, to be here today in this, for this occasion is one of the biggest honors and privileges I've had to encounter in my life. And I would like to thank you very much for everything. I would like to thank you for having taken me underneath your wing and um, have shown me how the world really could be because in the end, all the solutions to our questions are rather simple. And for that, for having been my teacher, I would like to thank you um, for that great privilege. And with this, I would like to present this award to Eric, which is the Stellar Citizen Award, and it's the first of its kind. And it is for people who have changed the world. And this is something that Eric has done. I think we can all agree with that. So for that, I would like to express my appreciation for Mr. Van Daniken. The Earth's crust was formed about four billion years ago. And all that science knows is that something like man existed one million years ago. And out of that gigantic river of time, it has managed to them up only a tiny rivulet of 7,000 years of human history. Chariots of the Gods, the international bestseller by Eric Von Däniken that shattered conventional theories about history and archaeology. Chariots of the Gods explores Von Däniken's controversial and explosive theory that beings from other galaxies visited Earth in ancient times. Please stay with us as we continue the celebration of Eric's career.
der Erde verewigt. Ihr Imperium schuf Rätsel für die Ewigkeit. Verstehen wir die Zeichen des Universums, erkennen wir ihre Botschaften, denn wir wissen, sie kehren wieder.
Zeichen des Universums. 